There are people having dinner in this apartment. I probably shouldn't be creeping on people <laughs> in the windows because it's weird. Okay, so this is the second day. No, the third day of our trip. And today I think we're going to a designer museum, which is cool, but it's like two and a half kilometers away from our hotel. We're gonna walk because the city is beautiful and it's sunny. It was snowing before uh, when we were having breakfast, but now it's not. So let's hope for the best. That it's not gonna snow again. So we're gonna look at beautiful sights. Okay. <laughs> there. Every Danish or just working person here that I have talked to uh, warned me about pickpockets and they were like just make sure you close all of your bags and pockets because people, there are a lot of pickpockets and they steal. So yeah, even in the museum, I was walking and the guy was like, are you Danish? And I was like, no, well, you should close your bag. <laughs> and you know, the first world country is when you see all of the American franchises everywhere, like Dunkin' Donuts, 7-Eleven, um, all of them basically, so yeah, rich country with a really good economy. <laughs> and of course, bicycles. Bicycles, bicycles everywhere, tons of them lying around, standing, good, bad, old, new. This is the transportation of Copenhagen. And uh, last night we were watching some TV and the um, guy said that the uh, tax for buying a car is in Denmark is 180%. So I guess that's for uh, like a diesel or petrol cars, but 180% you have to pay to the government if you want to buy a car so um, yeah I think this situation anyone would consider a bicycle or at least uh, the electric car I've seen quite a lot of them but not too many Teslas mostly um, BMW something I don't know I'm gonna show you if I see one So here are some cars, electric, and there are uh, outlets for them, right there. See? After this glorious building, well, construction, construction site, we're entering the uh, Castle Island, which is the island where there are two, uh, I suppose, castles and the black diamond, the one that I really, really want to wanted to see. I saw it yesterday, but today we will get in. I mean, some countries can blend old buildings and new ones together, and it, it looks organic, it looks nice, it's not bad. I wish we could do that, but sadly we can't. And I mean, 
winter fountains are a thing here? For real? guys to go with me to the library and we're inside and this is so beautiful and I want to go to the top This is the top, and I'm scared because I'm afraid of heights. Well, this is the famous Black Diamond. So, I mean, why would you not want to study when you're in the library like that? This is like amazing. Yeah, this is, I mean, not, not, not a beautiful view at all, like, what? It's awful, nobody likes that. I don't want to see it every day, it hurts my eyes. No. Sorry. And this is what I love when I'm traveling, when you are not really expecting much, but you get so much cool stuff, and it's just... I don't even know how to explain, I guess it's just a building, it's just a beautiful building but when you walk around such massive and beautiful new building you get the energy, I guess, from it I don't remember, I think it was built in 1999 so it's not that new, but it, it, it is very modern and I'm just amazed, I feel really good here yeah, so, wow. I like this and I have nothing more to say. <laughs> so, I'm seeing here a little office, somebody's office. And the view out of the office is this. I mean, how smart and good of a worker, a library worker should you be to just have this little office. It's not so big, but but this is insane. I've never seen a river this clean, a canal, whatever it is. It's so clean. Like a real Kind of cigar building. No one ever selling cigars here, as far as I remember. Probably. famous place with beautiful houses. And the most touristy place in the city. If you watched a Danish girl, the movie, they, they lived here in one of those houses and there are many shots in the movie shot in here in New House. We just 
went to a Tesla shop and we looked at Tesla just like that. How cool is this? Finally, we're at the design museum and I'm so cold and hungry, I don't know. Oh God, well, let's do this one. This is 19th century Denmark's fashion items. hungry. I don't even want to talk to a camera or to anybody. I'm really grumpy and I think everybody is like that. So yeah, I forgot to vlog but we went to look for some food and because it's very expensive we just um, found a salad bar. Oh my god. And So we ate some salad and pizza. It was the only hot food we actually ate on this trip because most of the food here is just sandwiches. I'm walking around the hotel and I think I'm in the park. Oh no, it's still a room. Well, I like hotels, so I'm enjoying that. Okay, what else did we do? Nothing, we just walked around the city and I think tonight is Saturday and tomorrow is our last full day that we like stay here. So we're gonna go to a bar today and try out how Danes spend their evenings. Hopefully because half of our company is sleeping. <laughs> Yeah. Well, 
Let's do that. There are people having dinner in this apartment and it's so cute. <laughs> I probably shouldn't be creeping on people <laughs> in the windows because it's weird. And people are so beautiful here and stylish and very fresh. So, yeah. We have just saw two Russian homeless people. <laughs> And they were talking about hanging out with girls, drinking, 